all, my name is Navindu Vishwas and I am going to take a mock interview today of STM and SS. And why I am eligible to take an interview? Because I have taken more than 1000 interviews in my career. I have worked for more than 16 years in the development field like uh, as a software developer, as an architect, as an in um, Bangalore based company, product based company. I worked in many big companies also like Oracle and JP Morgan. So that is about me. And in my last company also, I've taken more than uh, 500 interviews. Right now, I'm a full time trainer and the uh, main uh, trainer and uh, owner of TWD, the channel in which you are seeing this thing. So I'm going to take this interview and this is as close as possible. This is for HTML and CSS only. And this is taken in companies who have like projects in HTML and CSS, not in companies for web app development, which requires HTML, CSS, JavaScript and React. We are soon going to have that. But this is taken in company who have like small projects in HTML and CSS like that. In those companies, this kind of interviews are taken. Thank, thank you. Hope you learn from this interview and let's get started. So let's get started again. So Bhargav, tell me the difference between uh, block level element and inline element in HTML. The inline element is coming from line by line. Uh, it is not start in the new line. The block level element, is, it will start the uh, new line and it will take the full width to block level element. The block level element, uh, it will come one below the another. But the inline element will come one after the another. The elements will come. Sir? Can you give me some example of inline element and block level element? Yes, sir. Yeah. What are the tags? What are the scheme? What are the what are the examples? Div element is a block level element. Image is an uh, inline element. Oh? Main, uh, image and the uh, high tag or bold tag. These are the uh, inline elements. Uh, block level element is adding a uh, paragraph development. These are all the block level elements. And uh, anchor tag is what? Link tag is what? We are moving from one one page to another tag. page. Inline element or a block level element? It is inline element. Okay, that's good. Okay. What are semantic tags? Semantic stacks is mainly uh, used for the reason it is a when you when the new new person new developer is come to the uh, enhancements to you know, changes for the website then he will find easily the uh, using the tags names like uh, header tag footer section uh, aside article uh, like this uh, we can mention the tag names like this. Okay. Mm. That's good. Uh, okay. Um, why do we use that um, in a form? In a form, if there is a button, so mm -hmm. why do we use that type equal to submit there? Type equal to we are using the submit. submit we are using the submit. We are using that. It is inland. Inland. The button tag inside inline inline the form if you have a button or input type some as input but input is there why we are using type submit because we have to uh, submit the document old document because the form tag which is inside in the form tag um, the old data that's okay okay then okay so that is okay now coming to css what is inline internal and external css inline element inline we are using three, three types of it is a inline inline means we inside the element inside the element means uh, opening tag we have the opening and there is a we have mentioned that like attribute to style attribute you can use like that and the internal means we have the using the uh, head section uh, uh, style tag we are using start tag and end tag in the bit in, in, in between we are using the selectors, uh, class uh, ID like IDs, and that is the internal. The external means uh, the dot CSS extension file we are using to the separate page. We have to write the CSS tags in the separate page, which is, uh, which is a dot CSS extension page. Uh, okay, what are the different types of list? 
there is a i think there is two three actually but two i know uh, ol and ol tag and ul tag order list and order list order list to we can use the roman numbers or normal regular numbers the alphabetical option yeah. type yeah instead of ol and ul there is one more is there what is that D- uh, that is i think dl or something i i didn't okay okay don't know dl data list not use that much mm. okay that mm. is not mm. data list but that is a third kind of a list mm. Mm. okay so what are the four ways to give color in css four ways yeah which uh, four ways means uh, is a uh, color at color directly we are using the color means uh, name like red or green like this and one other one is hexa code we are using the hash something and another one is uh, rgb yeah. there is one more is hsl hsl is there yeah Sir, HSL. hsl yeah hsl you're right so there are four ways okay so what is the difference uh, between rem and m rem is the uh, font size of the root which is html the root element root comes from the root mm-hmm. the em is uh, font size of the parent the rem is 16px equal to 1 rem have you heard about vh what is vh vh means a viewport height it is used to for the vh is viewport height we can say uh, it is used to give the sections or something like that okay. we can use the height first okay okay that is so good okay uh, what is the difference between uh, position absolute and position relative position relative actually we have given the um, we, um the main parent we have given the relative and which one we have to use move something or different places the, then we want to give the we will give the absolute the relative comes from the root uh, which is the browser uh, starting point it will comes from the starting point. what is float left and float right float proper we can use uh, to um, wherever you want uh, we want left side then we use to float left proper while uh, it is like a response responsive type and uh, the before the flex box we have we more use use uh, that float property see here with using cs so coming to flexbox and grid what is the difference between flexbox and grid flex flexbox is a uh, one two dimension one dimensional and the grid is a two dimensional okay, okay so what is this uh, uh flex direction property flex direction hmm. column or row uh, by default flex. it is wrong. if you don't give it will it is row okay. default what is flex wrap it will come comes here to the next line if we give the flex wrap the elements will comes the next line are uh, not in one line it will come the below one below another what is justify content justify content we can use to justify content to the element to we can move the top or top middle bottom or left to center right 
is to move the elements where you want to as per the requirement and what is the aligned content you are telling that in just to be content you can move top and down but uh, then what is the aligned content aligned content actually is top middle and yeah so you are telling just to be content top down okay sir just to be content is not top down okay mm. left to center yeah. and right okay tell me what is the property what is this property as known as flex like we can give flex one flex two what is that flex one flex two ah the flex i will read about it so coming to grid what is this uh, grid template columns Grid template. I'm actually using more the flex boxes, and uh, I have less but, knowledge on the grid. But you don't know what is grid template column. Grid template column. Yes, okay. I will see that. What is that uh, FR unit in grid? FR unit. Yeah. Yeah, FR unit. FR frequencies. Uh, uh, FR three, FR two. If we give that, uh, the inside the children's children's who mm -hmm. actually we can give the property to the children. FR. So uh, in grid, what is the difference between uh, align self and justify self? Align self and justify self. Align means vertically. Justify means horizontal. You can move the children. I'm talking about items. I'm talking about self. Align self. Uh, actually, we have one to ten elements. So then we have to move the eighth one to the first. Then we have to use that align uh, align self uh, property. Now, I'll give you a coding challenge. Uh, please start uh, sharing your screen. I have written something on the chat. Maybe I will show this also. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, uh, one second and you don't share. First, let me share and I will show. So there is a share screen button is there the below. You can show it with that. Okay. So I will first uh, share in a sec. And uh, see, you have to do like this. Okay. Create mm -hmm. a centered box 500 pixel into 500 pixel in the middle of a full width page using Flexbox. Since you told that you're good in Flexbox, you do it with flex box okay you got it i've written it on the chat also but this is how you have to show it should be at the center using flex box and uh, uh, use anything you use a code editor online code editor but you have to do it in 15 minutes at the time so it is 8 50 now you have to do it by 9 5 okay and start sharing your screen i want to see what you prepare start sharing your screen there is a share button below Yes, you start sharing a screen and show me. Post disable participant screen sharing. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I think okay, I will give you. I will make you post, but don't close the call. Okay, I'll make you post on Zoom and make you post. Okay, so now you can share. Now you share. Hmm. Visible, sir. Okay. So you can use anything like you know, from VS Code, anything you can use. It's up to you. Whatever you're comfortable, use it and create this thing. So first create the HTML and then create the CSS. Okay.
increase the font size a bit i'm not able to see much okay it's okay 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 H1 is not required. You quickly create a box because you don't have time. Uh -huh. 
okay that's good program that is perfect uh, yeah so we did it before time and that is good so we are done with the interview i like the icon okay so that is good okay hello all hope you like this uh, mock interview with bhartam as you might have seen that he was a bit nervous in the coding round like he knows all the thing but he was a bit nervous and that is something which the interviewer also understand and uh, what the interviewer does after the interview they give the like uh, whatever i was writing that writing was will go to the hr and then they will decide if it is a positive thing definitely the person will go to the next round which is generally a managerial technical round but the manager generally don't ask that much technical questions only like the main technical round is this one only the manager will ask less technical round less technical questions and some a bit uh, uh, questions about how that guy will fit in the company so those things will happen happen and at the end there is a offer will be placed so this is how it works okay let me tell like how much bharu got and all those things you might be thinking to see that thing how much he got okay so this is what i was writing okay so this is okay all grades are out of 5 so html p did wonderful like 4 out of 5 css 5 out of 5 flexbox 3.5 and css grade is was not okay if in even in my company if css grade is used too much then also i would have taken him because of this his coding round was 5 out of 5 and overall is 4 because a skill can be learned that is what the interviewer also sees the skill can be learned the candidate is selected from my side and then go ahead to the next one so this is a mail which will go to the hr have good knowledge of all topic except css grid and as i have told that is something which he can learn he has hands on experience on coding that i learned like when he was coding i i came to know that okay he he was having he had done coding in his like he wasn't memorizing anything and will be a good contributor to the company so this is how the thing will mail will go from me and as you know the next round will be a manager round so this is how interviews are taken this is how interviews are recorded and um, like uh, with hr and all and uh, see you soon in some other mock interview series thank you